Hello, it's Diana Marchand from dianamarchand.com and I am out on a cloudy day. That's why it looks like it's foggy or something. I can't get any color in this video. But anyways, this is just the way it is right now today and it seems very dark. <laughs> the topic today is about, oh, when I was really high raw, I got asked a lot, of course, where do I get my protein from, right? Where do, how do you know that you're getting enough, like, good food, like enough nutrients, things like that. You know, how do you know you're getting enough? Are you not starving yourself or you must be malnourished? Things like that, right? Which you should just really make me laugh because <laughs> I used to think back to them. Oh my God. And you think you guys mostly on the, you know, standard American diet are getting nutrients at all. What about even fiber? You know, you may be getting a lot of protein and protein from meat sources isn't even the best protein you can get really, but it's just blew my mind. So what I want to talk to you today about is kind of about nutrients. So I often get asked in my programs and courses when people start to eat in a different way, like I do, it's kind of like, oh my God, how do you know you're getting a balanced meal? Or how do you know you're eating enough nutrients? Exactly how much of nutrients do I need? And exactly how much protein do I need? And what do I need about this? And it kind of makes me laugh because I think all these people, you know, in let's say North America are going around, they're not asking themselves that at all. But yet, people who go to clean up what they're eating, who go to eat more vegetables, more fruit, begin to wonder, am I getting enough good stuff? Am I getting everything I need? What's going to happen, right? It's like you're eating better than you did before. How do you not think that you're going to get better nutrients, right? You're eating healthier foods. So what I want to say is I talk about is kind of like, what are some of the things you could bring in? Like if you're someone who's like, well, I just want to cut back on my meat. So I want to make sure I'm getting enough nutrients, you know, so eating way more healthy food, like more vegetables, more fruit, you're getting more nutrients than you probably did before. If you were somebody who consumed a lot of meat before or some meat protein, which like I said, if it's in moderation, I'm not like a poster. I don't tell people they can choose to do what they want. But also your body processes meat protein different than it processes plant protein. It also, when you cook meat above 118 degrees, you lose about 50% of the protein. When you're plant, when you're eating raw foods and vegetables, you don't lose any of it. And it's amino acids, right? So it can, they contain amino acids. And the amino acids are the building blocks to protein. But the fruits and vegetables also, and the greens, you know me, I'm a big greens, eating lots of greens, also contain way more nutrients than any bit of meat does. You get some iron, you get all the antioxidants, phytonutrients, the minerals, the trace minerals. Yes, you even get essential fatty acids. Now, what are some of the things that you can start to bring in, really, bring in some of the new foods that you may not be doing now, which could increase your nutrient content, increase some of the protein, right? So, um, many of you I know have heard about chia, but there may be some people who don't, who haven't heard of it yet. This is just in a jar, but it's, um, this is black chia. So these are seeds and they were used by the Aztecs and Mayans, I believe it, you know, thousands of years ago as they're like running food. So they're good for endurance. They're good for, um, energy. They're good for hydration. You never eat them dry. You eat them hydrated in water, about a six to one ratio. So about one table, one tablespoon to six tablespoons, water, five to six, something like that, because they will absorb about 12 times amount of water. So they need to gel up, absorb the water. If you consume them dry, like a tablespoon dry, they're just going to suckle the moisture out of your system. And they can, they're also really good for your digestive system. They're good for cleansing. They actually help to pull toxins and stuff, junk out of your digestive system, right? So they're great for that. A uh, high in omega-3s, essential fatty acids. Let me see what else I'm just reading. I have a bit of notes here on each of these products. So, so I don't miss anything. They're uh, complete protein. So they are complete protein. Um, da, 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 da. Yep, that's good. They prolong, um, they, they help to retain your electrolytes and they prolong hydration. So they're really good for endurance, hydration. So excellent for athletes, excellent for athletes. So that's chia. And of course, hemp seeds. I don't have any with me right now. Hemp seeds and hemp hearts, same thing. They're a complete protein. 
They are high in essential fatty acids, again, really high in omega-3s. They are, are one of the most nutritious foods on the planet to consume. So you add them to your salads, to your smoothies, to you can make pestos, add them to your pestos. Uh, add them on top of some cooked veggies if you want. Add them in all of your salads into salad dressings. They are the richest source of essential fatty acids in the plant kingdom and of course they're higher in oils and we need our really good oils to help us metabolize fats as as well as for brain food and as well as if they really are shown to help your moods so anybody who suffers from anxiety depression getting making sure you're getting your omega-3s your essential fatty acids really important for that um, nutritional yeast is another thing that's a little different and some people may know about may not know about this is um, some I buy it in bulk and this is the red star brand it is kind of a pale yellow flakes kind of bright yellow actually has kind of a spicy smell a bit um, could be the jar that it's in I meant you can put it on your popcorn you can put it on cooked veggies it's great made into salads dressings it's great in raw sauces it's good on a salad plane it's good on almost anything and now nutritional yeast is excellent it's high in vitamin B's <laughs> it even contains vitamin B12 it's a complete protein so it's a great thing to add like I said it's a little different so you may not have tried it before but I highly suggest it it's great on things like popcorn with some coconut oil and salt add some nutritional yeast really good flavor they use it in a lot of raw sauces making raw cheeses for the flavor so it adds really good really good flavor I'm just seeing if I have something else about it uh, yeah great for minerals it contains 15 minerals including chromium so there we go great for minerals and of course like I said the vitamin B's great for vitamin B's and what else do I have I just brought my little basket here oh lemon you know I always say lemon water first thing in the morning these are high in alkaline so always you want to consume more foods that are higher in alkaline even though a lemon is an acidic fruit it is one of the highest foods that are highest in alkaline right so you can google alkaline foods and find out what those are and include more of those those are all your nutrients in that is what you want to have more of and then of course you know I talk about my super powders and camu camu is one that's extremely high in vitamin C and it is berry and here's a brand that just makes it it's in a powder form it's a pure powder form and you can add this to your smoothies camu camu powder so again you're getting a lot of high quality vitamin C it's not some junk in some tablet that you're not even going to digest or that your body's going to absorb right this is chlorella you can also use spirulina or a mixed green powder blend and what are so great about chlorella spirulina any type of the algae they're an algae is they are high in protein so they are they are protein but also I'm just gonna read a bit about um, if I have the chlorella one no I don't have the chlorella. anyways it's high in minerals and and essential and of course essential fatty acids as well as trace minerals which we don't get some of the trace minerals that are in chlorella these algae in many foods at all so this is a great way to get this extra nutrients and if you're talking about spirulina which like I said is another algae spirulina is really high in protein 65 percent protein it has um it has so it's a complete protein and it's really rich in vitamins a and the b's right vitamin b's and these dark green powders are also rich in vitamin k <clears throat> an abundant source of chlorophyll which really helps to purify our blood so chlorophyll is really good for the blood um, and this is they are great for the kidney health too and wheatgrass powder well wheatgrass powder is is an extreme it really helps to detoxify the body sorry I got an itchy nose again high in protein high in minerals antioxidants phytonutrients chlorophyll right this is um, you can use it on your skin you can use it on your scalp so it will help any type of a rashes skin problem I use it on my face sometimes as a rub with some of the other green powders and make it like an exfoliant I do that I let it sit for a while um, anti-aging great for your skin to consume it in smoothies I have noticed way less gray hair since I started consuming wheatgrass in my smoothies every single day so that's something that I've noticed myself it's it increases your blood cell count so it's really good for the blood lowers blood pressure um, helps to cleanse the blood uh, a digestional tract it um, stimulates your metabolism it decreases your blood pressure stimulates metabolism oh so I got that twice 
of course, and helps to stimulate the thyroid glands. And it's, again, it's one of the highest alkaline foods, wheatgrass powder, in the smoothie every single day is what I do. And that comes to, of course, having two smoothies a day. This is what I do. Oh, there's my second smoothie. And with the super powders in it, with some fresh greens. So you get, again, some more high nutrients in the greens. In the frozen fruit I want to use, I use even cucumbers in here and celery in here. Some people put a lot of vegetables in their smoothie, but it's up to you. I mix, I mix some frozen fruit and I mix water and I mix my fresh greens. And you can put chia seeds in here. You can put hemp seeds. You can put a good quality protein powder if you are an athlete and you need more protein for um, muscle recovery. So get your green smoothies in every single day, twice a day. And something that is becoming, again, kind of really popular is fermented foods. Here I make my own sauerkraut. It all it has is, in, is uh, cabbage and some Himalayan salt. I make my own salt. Super easy to make. This is great for gut health. It helps to just breed more healthy bacteria in our gut. And with gut health, if we don't have gut health, the rest of our health is going to go downhill. It is proven that it's kind of like the immune system of our body. So you really need to work on having good bacteria in your gut for overall health and for aging. Now, something that I've started recently that, why I started, because it's by a company that uses <laughs> raw fruit and vegetables and they dehydrate the juice and they put it in capsules so for somebody who is like oh my god I don't want to do all this stuff this is crazy and it's probably expensive and I don't I can't travel with my smoothies and what am I gonna do then do something as easy as this this is juice plus all you have to do is take the capsules done super easy there's actually three blends there's another blend this is all the greens this is all the fruit and there's another blend that can has some specialized like the grapes and things like that it's called orchard I think this, I tell you, it, um, it's, it's even raw. It's never been cooked about 118 degrees. It's just like consuming a huge amount of fruits and vegetables. And you know that those are where you get the true nutrients for your body, right? So I suggest if you are somebody who is unsure about all of this stuff, the easiest way to start, the best way to start, and you can travel with this super easy, is taking Juice Plus. You can check it out on their website or ask me about it. Super easy. So yes, there is a pill to be able to take all these fruits and vegetables. Isn't that very cool? And I often get asked, what are some of the supplements should I be taking? Like, what are some things that I should be taking um, when you go to clean up your diet or any, no matter what, anytime? I highly suggest, especially for women over 40, to take digestive enzymes because we our enzyme count decreases and we need the digestive enzymes to help digest our food properly. So when we eat live food, like raw food, they have enzymes in them. But if we're eating a lot more cooked food, definitely get some digestive enzymes. Probiotics, really, really important, especially as you age. And for gut health, take probiotics. I suggest if you're going to go vegan, take vitamin B12, take uh, vitamin D3. Everybody should be taking that. And make sure you're getting your omega-3 oils right? The chia seeds, the hemp seeds have them, but also you can take a really good oil capsule. That is my suggestion. Oh, and iron. Sometimes you're very tired, very fatigued, especially through perimenopause. It could be that you're low on iron. So a liquid iron, uh, like by Floridex, is a really good thing to take, but you can also get tested to see where your irons are, and that could be the problem or why you're so fatigued. I myself need to take iron. So that could be something you also need to take. You've got to do something. This is your health. There's way too many people in this world getting sick, full of inflammation, having rashes, um, allergies, Allergies, so many problems with their health, so many types of cancers. What can be done? It's up to you to take care of your health. You are the only one who can do it. It may seem confusing. It may seem overwhelming. Reach out to someone like me. Take something, even something simple like Juice Plus, if that's the only place you want to start. Start with your green smoothies. Simple, easy things. You don't have to make it complicated. Just start and start now and stop putting it off. I also have a 30-day program that will make it fantastically super great for you to get started with support and accountability dianamarchand.com forward slash 30 days but I encourage you to do something now for you for your health for everybody who loves you enjoy oh, enjoy my Facebook community for women who want to live healthy happy lives over 40 and that's women creating healthy lives <laughs> okay bye-bye have a great day